Now we will dive into the general ledger module into uh, in iScala in a box. So we need to open the general ledger folder. I will talk about the chart of accounts and entering GL transaction directly into the general ledger and then printing the saved transactions and then updating the uh, daybook journal which is the process where the GL balances are affected. Then we can talk about the uh, defining a new currency with the exchange rate. So on the chart of accounts, let's define a new chart of accounts here. The system will ask me about the level of the entry that I want to make. So we can enter um, a new chart of accounts or edit the existing uh, chart of accounts into the parent level, the account level. And then I will have another allocation centers. So using iScala in a box, I can define up to three allocation centers like departments and cost centers and any other uh, naming that is suitable for your business. Uh, so probably it will be account, cost center, department, and uh, a third one like service or contact, for example. So when I click account, it will open the chart of account screen uh, into the parent uh, level or the account level. Here I can see all the options or setups that I can make or modify uh, into the account, like the account name, uh, account code, for, of course, and then account name, the account type, whether it's a profit and loss account or a balance sheet account. I can enter a new code or I can select from the existing uh, chart of account codes uh, that already entered so I can for example make a question mark here which is one of the way I can search into the existing uh, records here in iScan and box so for example I click this one it will automatically um, captures the already existing setups for uh, this account so let's take a look on the transaction entry screen The transaction entry screen in, in the general ledger is very simple and it's not used uh, frequently because the typical idea of the ERP is the GL should receive uh, automatically generated vouchers from the subledgers. So whenever I make a purchase invoice or a sales invoice, the system will make an automatic GL voucher and post it to the general ledger automatically. But sometimes uh, we need to enter a direct a voucher or a direct GL transaction from within the general ledger for the cases that the transaction is not related to a subledger, uh, like a settlement transaction or uh, uh, some fee, some fees transaction and, and so on. So on the GL entry screen, transaction entry screen, I can, the system will automatically capture um, a numbering, um, a number for this uh, transaction using um, a counter theme or a counter mask that I defined on the setup uh, phase. Then I can enter the transaction date. Then it will move to the transaction entry itself where the system asks me to select which GL transaction I want to use for this transaction. So I can make the question mark <clears throat> and then it will open all the already saved accounts where I can select from them and then it will jumps it will jump automatically to the amount field where I can enter the transaction amount on the text field I can enter a transaction or select from uh, an already saved transaction so sometimes uh, uh, when I enter a frequent transaction or a transaction I use a lot I can save a template for the descriptions and then select one of them later but for this instance I will write it manually transaction entry okay then I can enter the offset account because uh, it's not possible to post a transaction that is not balanced so I I have to select the credit uh, offset of the uh, transaction I can select another account here the offset cost for example and then enter the credit amount okay and then click next now the system saved the voucher I can 
come back to it later and make some revisions I can edit it but it will not affect the GL balance unless I post it to the daybook day journal so I want to uh, make a, a, a revision uh, a step of a revision now to select and print the GL uh, slip I can see my transaction saved here okay the system will make a print out of the uh, GL transaction that I just made. It now generates the uh, the code slip or the the vouchers. Okay, and then I can see it here in the print. But till now, it's not posted to the general ledger balance unless I go to the Daybook journal and then. Post all the saved transaction uh, into the GL and affecting the GL balances. And the system gives me here another step for revision. It asks me, do you want to adjust existing transactions? If I said yes, the system will ask me which transaction that you want to edit. I can browse the already saved transactions, so I can select it and make all the edits uh, that I want. Or I can say no okay and the system will post it automatically here okay so now it's uh, posted and affected the GL uh, transaction balance Okay, as pre reprint is required. Okay, update ledger. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now the GL transaction is uh, updated. Uh, was updated the uh, the balances. And the last part here on the general ledger, where I can define a list of uh, using iScala in a box, I can define up to uh, five different currencies. Along with uh, their exchange rate, I can define separate exchange rate for uh, sell and for buying. And then whenever I enter a transaction into a general ledger or the sub ledger, it will, it will capture the, uh, the rate that is related to the transaction date.